Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's get into it. Let's use the Kipper deck and see what our fortune is, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on. Um, what is going on for the Aquarius? I kept seeing sudden wealth and unexpected money. Sudden wealth, unexpected money. Let's see what's going on for the Aquarius. What does, does the Kipper deck want to tell the Aquarius? Okay, a new start, child. Uh, so this could be somebody or something that you're separated from or something that you have been trying to achieve, okay? You've been working your way up to. Um, now is the time to start it. Now is the time to put yourself out there or someone feels like now is the time to come towards you and start something new. They want to do over. Um, this could be pregnancy. This could be the, the birth of something new, the birth of a new relationship or the resurgence of one. Uh, courtship here coming out. So somebody wants to date you, date you exclusively. They want to uh, put the time, the energy, the effort into the relationship here. Uh, with the courtship, it says that someone is dating to take it to marriage, take it to engagement. This isn't just dating you uh, to have sex with you, to have fun with you, and then throw you back to the dating pool. Um, someone is dating with intentions here. Or this is what you're looking to do. Or this is what someone is looking to do with you, Aquarius. All right, sudden wealth can make it up. So suddenly things just, you could be seeing 11 or 11, 11 a lot, maybe even four. Um, sudden wealth, suddenly something comes into you. It all makes sense. Uh, things uh, shape up for you in terms of your finances. What is sudden wealth? Clarify sudden wealth for the Aquarius. Suddenly, um, some of you could be getting some large payouts. You know, I don't know if you're waiting for something in terms of the courts, if you're waiting in something in terms of uh, paperwork, uh, loans, taxes, uh, the sale of, yeah, the official, official man. Somebody also could be coming into you and making some relationship official. They could, they are very official. They have their ducks in a row. They have uh, money. They look good on paper. Uh, their portfolio, their financial portfolio is all together. It's, um, it's, it's vast. It's grand. Um, if this person, if you're dating this person or they want to date you, then you're a part of that. And all of a sudden you become wealthy too, by way of being, uh, in cahoots. I heard with the official person, we've got 11, then we got 22, 11, 11, that gives us 22. Something about, um, coming together here, maybe a divine union, twin flame, soulmate could be new, could be old here. The official person, someone wants to make something official. What is this about? Give me one card for the official person. What was this about? Okay, um, so some of you, this could be a lawyer. Your lawyer could be advocating on your behalf to make um, something official, to get you an official offer. Um, it could bring in a, a, a large amount of money, sudden wealth for you. We also got unexpected income. So uh, unexpected income in terms of, so income is um, money earned. I don't know if you earned it and now it's coming back to you or someone felt like that maybe they didn't pay you enough. Um, unexpected income. Uh, some, some of you could be starting something new that's going to bring you, um, another, another stream of income here in your life. It's also going to relate to the sudden wealth. Um, you doing this new thing is going to bring you a level of sudden wealth. You being an official person, um, Maybe even a business owner is going to bring you a level of sudden wealth, um, unexpected income from doing this thing. Uh, maybe speaking with someone, um, getting a new idea. Also, this is litigation. So litigation for some of you, if you're in court, if you're going through a court, uh, court hearings, proceedings, then do know that um, you, something's going to turn out very well for you. Um, let's close this out here with the Kipper deck and see if we can pick up some more energy with another deck. What do we have? coffin yeah it looks like it's the end of one cycle something is a no-go it's over it's done it also could mean this you know um turning into a 10 cycle over some long um lesson here saturn 10 cycle it's done um the 10 being capricorn and then uh capricorn 
Saturn ruling Capricorn. So maybe some lesson here in your life is over. It also could have been cursed. I'm hearing curse. Maybe your finances were cursed, your love life. I don't know your, your life, but whatever it was, whatever it is, do know that that is over. Now you get to rest in the energy of sudden wealth, unexpected income, and you being official, okay? Um, maybe even having a new love relationship coming to you, one that will go towards marriage. So this looks really good for you, Aquarius. Do know that um, the curse has been lifted. It is over. It is done. It's a no-go. It, it won't happen. Um, you've gone through it. Do know that. Wow, you get house at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are going to purchase real estate. This card specifically talks about a relationship. It reduces to a two. It, it um, specifically talks about partnership. Definitely a relationship. A lot of times we like to think that our relationships are like houses. They're safe. They're a safety net. Um, it's where we run to It's where we retire to our relationship. Um, we feel comfortable there. So maybe you'll have a relationship that will provide you all of that, uh, safety, comfortability, uh, love, um, refuge. Okay. Is what I'm hearing. So some of you are definitely, some of you are going to get a house. It could be literal for some of you. Um, some of you could be signing contracts, paperwork, um, in terms of housing, um, and then some of you will have a relationship that will be as solid as a house, as a rock here. So that's very good to know, Aquarius. Let's um, pull some butterfly oracle cards and see what's going on here for my Aquarius. Uh, very, very good cards, Aquarius. You got money in, on the table for you. Do know that that tough cycle that you had gone through maybe 10 years, 10 or more years, 10 weeks, I don't know, 10 months, it is over. You could be seeing 10, 10 or 10 could be significant to you. Uh, do know that that is over. Don't rest in that energy. Know that newness is here. Okay. And this flipped out of the deck. We have emotions. Very nice. So your emotions, um, don't let your emotions be wavered or, uh, or falter. Go back and forth by how much money you have or, or you don't have or you don't see it coming or you don't see this or it's not shaping out how you thought. Um, let Be solid in your emotions, Aquarius. If you know that it's going to happen for you, know that it's going to happen for you. Don't Be unmovable, okay? Be like a rock. Be like a house. Be stable. Be solid, okay? Um, do know that emotions are whimsical. So that means they come and they go. I'm hot. I'm cold. I'm sad. I'm not. I'm sad. I'm happy. I'm, uh, I'm joyous. Um, now I'm angry, you know, so do know that emotions, they come and they go process them accurately and move forward. You do know that you don't have to stay there. Okay. You don't have to stay in a certain emotional uh, state and do know that you're not always going to stay in a certain emotional state, especially a happy one. You know, life happens to us all. Okay. It's about what you do, how you react motivation yeah um have a motivation to move forward in something on something here aquarius question your motivation to what do you want all of this stuff for what do you want this money for what will you be doing it for will it only serve you and your purpose or other people do know that money without a purpose is materialism um motivation also be motivated to go after what it is you really want know why you want it have reason be able to shoot it right off right off the cuff if someone was to ask you why do you want to be a millionaire spiritual growth yeah some situation here especially with that coffin um it took you to a level of growing spiritually you don't typically grow spiritually when everything is going right for you no no one has ever said oh i've had the most spiritual growth um when uh, i became a millionaire um i vacationed you know every other month um you know, I, I, I do spa treatments, you know, there's really no growth. Their life is comfortable. You're comfortable. Maybe the people around you are comfortable, but spiritual growth happens in adversity. Um, it happens in, um, opposition, you know, it happens in things that are contrary to what you say you, you want or what you're doing. So it looks like whatever has happened for you, Aquarius, that, that, uh, was a, a pushback, a notchback. Do know that it came into your life to grow you, to, to, uh, shape and mold your character. Character is historical reference over a certain amount of time. So, um, it came in to, to grow you, to, to, um, strengthen your character, to build the character. Okay. For some of you. All right, let's see. Last card for the Aquarius. What's going on for my Aquarius? 
welcome the new. I knew it was coming out. It was in my spirit. Um, especially with that. What card do we have? Uh, with the child card. Uh, I thought we had another card too. Maybe official person. Um, welcome the new Aquarius. Newness is here. Oh yeah, with the coffin. It's over. It's done. It's a no-go. It's the final nail in the coffin. When you... So if you get a coffin, you put something in a coffin, then and then you you nail it shut. That's what they used to do. I don't know what they do now. It's when you nail anything shut, it's because you it's not going to be open or revisited. It's not that oh I'm nailing it shut because next week I'm coming back. No, if next week you're coming back, you wouldn't nail it shut. So the universe is saying that something is over. That tough time, that hard time that turbulent time, the trials, the tribulations, it's over. If you want to stay there, you can stay there because it is your life and you're the co-creator in your life. But do know the universe is saying it's over. Welcome the new. Bask in newness. Do know that you can have new. If you're having a hard time accepting the fact that you can have newness, then you need to go speak to somebody about that. Speak to a professional about how to accept newness and change. But you firstly have to identify the fact that you're having a hard time move it into new okay yeah because you got to understand that you're stronger than you know aquarius you can make this happen um you can walk out of this old way of thinking being doing having you can come out of uh generational poverty uh, a poverty impoverished mindset uh, uh, some of you weren't brought up in the, the best the upbringing here but you, you don't have to stay there let me leave you with the message here um by way of the tarot cards uh, do know that you're stronger than you know uh you have a lot of power within you have a lot of manifestation power too aquarius when you put your mind to it your will to it it can get done it gets done uh the universe gets behind you um most times because your your uh, will is true it is um it is good. A lot of times, you know, if you really get down to the base of it, it's good. It's, it's not based in envy, strife, evil, five of swords, Aquarius. Some of you self-sabotaging behavior. You don't, it's easy to stay here in the fight. It's easy to, to back down, but do know you're stronger than, you know, the moon card. All right. So there's something around you that is what it is not. Well, it's masquerading like it's something it is not. There are secrets. There are lies. There is deception. There is maybe even self-deception here. There could be hidden enemies here with the five of swords and the moon card. The moon card talks about hidden things. And most times it talks about hidden enemies. And it also talks about if you're looking for answers, do know that you might get an answer, but it might be so vague that it, that it just furthers your confusion. So you're going to have to really hone in on your dreams right now. Um, you're going to be getting some vivid dreams, some premonitions. Um, they could, they could, um, provide you with answers to questions that you're like, why is this? Or why do they act like this? Or why do they say this to me? Why is this happening? Looking outside of yourself right now, it says the questions, the answers might be too vague. So you're going to have to hone in right now. Um, and know that spirit is working in the background, uh, on something. Also the shadow side of you. Okay. Okay. Aquarius. Um, some of you are going to get some of this, um, sudden wells abundance coming into you. Make sure your ego is in check. Okay. Yeah. Nine of pentacles, knight of pentacles here. Do know that money is coming. There is a more committed phase, maybe in a relationship. Someone's going to be very loyal, dedicated, devoted to you. Um, devoted to the relationship. They're going to want to see it through. There could be some travel for work. Also, there's somebody here who is rigid, a bulldog in terms of their work, uh, a workaholic, uh, perfectionist, someone is not um, going to release um, a half-assed project, which is great. Um, there's also somebody still dedicated, devoted to you. I don't know if you know it, Aquarius, but this is how they are. They haven't made any move. They're being very slow about this for whatever reason. Maybe they want to be sure of it. We've got the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There's somebody who played mental games with you, okay? Uh, mental and emotional games with you. They lied to themselves about how much they felt about you. They lied to you. They, all they knew was to play games, okay? This is what they've done to other people. This is, this is how they live their life. This is who they are. This is who they are on the surface. Um, maybe they need to go through some deep 
change, some, some transition within themselves. It has nothing to do with you. You can't prompt them to do this. You can't bribe them. You can't move them. It seems as if there was a relationship here that really didn't manifest into a relationship. Now, you could have thought this was your boyfriend or your girlfriend. And maybe even you, you two act as if you were boyfriend, girlfriend, taking things to the next level, this and that. But there was still an, like an underbelly of it not being real for some reason. I don't know if you didn't sit down and have the conversation like we are together or not. Or you got little subtle hints that this person was still keeping options open. Therefore, but you still continued in the relationship. Um, so that's why it's like an energy of it wasn't always real. You know, it wasn't real. It wasn't realized. There was a lot of emotion here. Yep, emotions here. Um, but it wasn't solidified by way of, I don't know, maybe y'all just making it real, moving in together, buying a cat, dog, I don't know. Looks like somebody wants to apologize. Yeah, somebody really wants to come back, apologize, uh, happy surprise. Uh, they want to surprise you. There also could be surprise news about money, business matters. It looks good here. Um, some of you could be in the beauty fashion industry here. Um, you're going to get some news, some surprise news about whatever it is you do in that industry. It looks good. It looks happy. It looks like it's something you're going to be happy about. It could be about your own business. Uh, there is jealousy. There's, okay, I heard gang stalking. Like there's a group of people trying to, you know, uh, really get in your business or run interference um, behind the scenes. There could be someone doing uh, magic, dark magic here, but it's, it's taking no effect. What is this about? The five of swords and the moon card. Okay, they don't want to say what they're doing. Hang on. Uh, yeah, nine of cups in reverse. Whatever it is, it's not, it's not taking effect. Yeah, the hermit, they're doing something in secret. They're trying to want, they're trying to figure out how you're still good. The six of swords, how you, and that's also somebody that you moved away from. I'm trying to figure out how you could just really sever ties and not come back to it. How can you not revisit this relationship, the love that you both had? How can you really just be go cold turkey? They're trying to figure out how can you ghost them? How can you really do that? And then there's also somebody here trying to figure out what do you, what did you do for money? How you're good, how you're still standing, how you're moving forward, how, um, how you're going to move or you're moving. Some of you are waiting for the harvest here. Very nice. You've done the work, you know, it's coming. This is the gestation period. Okay. You've done the work. You're waiting for growth. Look how she looks at the plant. She knows that she's nurtured, cultivated this plant. Finish what you start, Aquarius. Um, some of you are just waiting to retire this hard work type of energy, okay? Uh, or this waiting energy. You're waiting for some some uh, manifestation of, of your hard work to come in. It's going to come in with the, with the seven of pentacles here. You have been at a place where um, you just accepted no activity or low activity in terms of maybe your career, your finances, maybe even a relationship. You're waiting for something to turn around. Some of you are, sometimes this card talks about waiting in vain. So if it is in love, it could be waiting in vain. Question what you're doing there. If you're waiting for somebody, get a personal reading. If not with me, with somebody else, make sure that you should, you are not waiting in vain. Some of you harvest is coming. Okay. Uh, you've done the work you're going to see the return, the ROI on your interest, um, on your, yeah, the return on your, on your investment here. Um, somebody's wondering why their magic is not taking effect on you. Oh, you, oh, you're a guru. You, you're a guru. There's an angel protecting you, guardian angel. And there's an angel here. Um, so yeah, whoever is doing that, good luck with that. I mean, because they're not fighting you, um, but they're fighting, you know, in that spiritual realm and they're possibly not going to win here. Um, yeah, something's not taking effect. Uh, eat more veggies, Aquarius, engage in healthy activities, healthy relationships. If you know it's not healthy, could be love for you. Um, then don't engage. Okay. Uh, I can't talk after 8 p.m. Be more rigid, more stern, 
in your routine, your regimen about yourself, about self-care, about your work. I work during these hours and then I sleep or I rest or I meditate on these hours. On this day I do this and on this day I do that. And you, you, know, you need a routine. You don't have a routine. You also could be dealing with somebody who still has somebody else to where they can't talk to you. Yeah, they're trying to save their marriage here um, or their relationship. You could be waiting in vain for this person. Uh, that's for some of you. For some of you, you have somebody wanting to come back, start something new with you, reconcile with you, call a truce with you. Could be someone that you have a child with, that you had a family with. You could have been married to them. If not married to them, then it was like, you know, uh, common law or whatever. I don't know why I picked up this deck again. Um, because I want to close it out. Grief work. Some of yeah, you some of you need to do the grief. Go through that that grief work here. Um, speak to somebody. Back to what I was saying earlier. If you're having a problem with accepting change, moving forward, you need to talk to somebody. You know, um some of you need to process your emotions here. You feel it, but you're not really accurately processing it. Um, self-employment is highlighted for a lot of you. It looks like, um, self-employment is going to go very well for you, especially with the sudden wealth, the unexpected income and the child, whatever you start new, it's going to go well for you. Self-employment highlighted. If you want to be self-employed, there is your, um, confirmation. Or if you're looking to start self-employment confirmation here, um, expertise is what I'm hearing. I don't know. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Okay. Um, if you know that you have been put through a test in life, um, if you know that the curse on your life is over, I want you to put some X's down in the comment section because all of that stuff is X'd out of your life. Okay. If you know that you're, you're, um, you're focusing on self-employment, I want you to put some money bags down there in the comments section. If you know that you need to be focused on more healthier eating, way of living, relationships, put some red hearts down in the comment, pink and red hearts down in there, whatever is for you in this reading. Let's start to manifest collectively by way of the energy of using these technologies that we have. Okay. Don't just come to the reading, hear what you need to hear and leave. Let's manifest better love, healthier love. Um, let's let the vibration of healthier love, you know, um, kind of reach everybody where we're manifesting corporately. Put those pink and red hearts down there. Put those money bags down in the comment sections. If you're focused on self-employment and what was the other one? Um, forgot that quick, huh? I know y'all remember though. Run the, run it back. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, and if the curse is over, put some X's down in the, uh, comment section. If you know that you have been dealing with hard times in life, and you know that it's over. You feel that vibration of it being over. I want some X's. Put the X's down in the comment section, okay? Uh, yeah, put your X. Okay, you know what? I'll put the put me on screen, even though I look crazy, okay? Um, let's see. Yeah, put the X's. Oh, your X's down in the comment section, okay, guys? Thank you. Many blessings to you. All links are below. Take care, guys.